Hello YouTube. I am back. I know it's been a few months. Um, just had my funds tied up. Um, I did complete the rifle that you see here uh, a few months back, um, but it wasn't exactly complete. So uh, I everything everything came together fine. Um, I have taken it out to the range. I do have the Trigicon uh, MRO mounted. I had it zeroed at the range at about 50 yards, I want to say. Um, I do want to go out to a longer range, though. Uh, actually, I think that was a 25-yard range, so I'm probably wrong on that. But as you can see here, uh, I just got these sights in today. So these are the combat rifle sights from Midwest Industries. Let's take a look at this. Here's just some of the stuff that came with it, some stickers. Uh, I actually got like a like a beer holder or whatever. <laughs> uh, so let's take a look here. I'm kind of glad I waited because these these actually just came out. And they look really nice. So it does come with a front um, adjustable tool. Kind of works like that. You can see it on their website. Uh, this can this notch can be replaced is what that's for. You know, if you want to get, um, you know, uh, night sight or whatever tritium, whatever whatever works. All right, and here is the rear post. Now these these are kind of cool. They just they just automatically flip like right up. They do not require um, any kind of button to be pressed, and they're really solid. Um, so what I'm gonna do is we'll get these on here. Um, they have to be torqued. I'm not. I'll do that off camera. But as you can see, it just loads into the pick rail. Okay, so this just goes right in uh, to the pick rail here. Uh, I got my uh, fat wrench. Uh, but let's, uh, before I do that, well, uh, I'll go ahead and, and put those on really fast while the rifle is assembled. I do want to go over some of the... So let's take a look here. I think i got to loosen this up a bit. Now they want you to hold it, you know, push it kind of forward and then, you know, just do your thing. Like I said, I'm just going to tighten it snug and I'll do the torque later. But yeah, really nice. Does not affair, interfere with the charging handle at all. But we'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute. And I'm thinking these will be able to work with the Trigicon. I believe so, but actually no, it's the, the mount is too high. Possibly, but I'll have to experiment with that. Uh, I got these sites, like I said, Midwest Industries, and I also use the code Jaeger Bomb. So, if, uh, fans of James Jaeger, you know, pretty good to get that discount. Okay, that should be good enough. All right, so, like I said, the rifle came out really nice. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and disassemble so we could take a look at the parts a little bit better.
Okay. All right, so first off, we'll start with the lower. Here's the mag pool. Uh, it goes onto this adapter here. Uh, I torqued down the adapter screw plate and it seems to be working very well. Not had any issues uh, with it uh, for such a large, you know, buffer tube. So there it is, folded. Now, folded, you know, for me, I needed the space. I'm in an apartment. Uh, it just made a little bit more sense. But, uh, and, and I have a smaller safe too. It just about fits, you know, exactly what I need. So uh, there is that <clears throat> issue. But no, really nice. I really, I, I love this. Uh, actually, this is an enhanced uh, mag pool on the back end here. Um, here is the grip. And as you can see, the different, I went with the 90 degree as opposed to, you know, the kind of, well, not really 90, less than 90 degree um, uh, selector. You know, instead of the 90 degree, I went with less than, uh, I think that's 45 degree. But yeah, everything is it came out good. I really like the Strike Industries uh, set there. It's phenomenal, really. Um, so here's, here's a look at the other side. Uh, the trigger and the magazine release and then really yeah this uh all these enhanced um this enhanced kit is is really nice i'm glad i spent the extra money for it you know i instead of just throwing you know some cheap old crap on there uh, i really like it all right so that's pretty much it for the the lower there's not much else. Here is the upper, uh, and we just have these sights installed. So really, really kind of cool. I really like these. I mean, yeah, they you can maybe knock it back, but I mean that's pretty good, pretty solid in there. Uh, it's seen it might, I but I doubt it. I doubt that it uh, uh, it will. Um, co-witness with the Trigicon. I think it's just too high. I mean, it looks like it, but I, like I said, I'm just going to have to, um, you know, actually it's pretty much right on. Let's flip up the front. Actually, it's like dead on, so it'll be kind of interesting to try that out. It might make things a little more complicated. I've never really co-witnessed with this MRO before, but kind of cool. Definitely cool. Uh, I really like these. These, I'm glad I waited. Like I said, and this came out uh, in time. Uh, these, uh, I forgot. These are off of eBay. These are just little, you know, hand guards. I tried the uh, Magpul ones, but they just would not work. Um, would not work at all. I'm trying to get it through this uh, M Lock hand guard. I think they're made more for. Um, Made more for what am I? What am I trying to say? They're made more for the Magpul furniture, if if that makes any sense. Uh, but here up at the front, I have the Streamlight. You know, it works really well. And I have under here, so here's the Magpul, the foregrip. Kind of wanted it right there, you know, right there where I can grip it and kind of manipulate the light or shoot up and do permanent on off just little things like that so uh i need to really take this out to the range more i need to get to a longer range um my range days have kind of um oh just one one quick aside um the reason why there's two cutouts here is because this is actually 300 the 300 blackout gas port is shorter so it's just for full fuller modularity. They kept the same, um, you know, to swap this out so you won't have to lose your handguard by a new one. So uh, that's what that's for. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Everything else is the same from the other video. 
so this has just been part two. It's been a long time coming, and I'm glad that it's now semi-complete. The one thing that I am missing would be like a sling, perhaps, uh, or maybe even a different uh, mount for my MRO. Um, but for now, it's it serves its purpose. I said this is a 5.56 five, uh, upper, but the barrel, you know, it comes out very easily. Um, but yeah, I'm really um, impressed with the Spikes Tactical Lower. You know, it's uh, it does its job. You know, it holds everything like it's supposed to. And with the adapter kit, I had no issues really. I mean, it's, it's really a solid lock back here. So, um, yeah, so... That's about it. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them below. And uh, thank you for watching the uh, Sig Virtus Upper uh, Receiver uh, Completed uh, Rifle.